What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's 10-game NBA DFS slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. There's an ungodly amount of games today, and that means there's a lot to talk about, so let's get that power of positivity back in the air one more time to close out the week. And right now, please hit that like button. If you want your chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus, courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your overall top value according to DraftKings salaries down below. Nobody got Avika Zubac correctly yesterday, but I I believe in you guys. You can close this week out strong. So let's get it right today by liking this video and commenting your top value play down below. For the record, you are not losing your mind and the light behind me was flickering as though it was haunted by a ghost for this intro. Great times here, but we still have no time to waste here in the four corners. Let's go right into our first corner of the top. Owen plays and Aaron Baines in a game versus Portland where there's 114 implied points for Phoenix. Baines has 65% expected ownership on DraftKings while he's 6% on FanDuel. DeAndre Ayton is expected out and Baines is at a minimum price on draftings that makes him hard to avoid with a likely secure bit of run and a logical pivot and check Diallo if you want to get different for tournaments. Another top owned player today looks like Nikola Vucevic in a game at Minnesota where there's 117.8 implied points for Orlando. Vuce is 20% expected ownership on DraftKings while he is 43% on FanDuel. Vuce is a killer price on FanDuel and sees a boost to 28% usage with Evan Fournier off the floor after he just put up 56.75 fantasy points against Minnesota about a week ago. And our last of the current top owned players looks like TJ McConnell in a game at Chicago, where there's 107 implied points for Indiana. McConnell is 26% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he's 37% on FanDuel. McConnell could pick up a start with Malcolm Brogdon likely out as a very solid value on all the sites, but it could be a bigger boost for Aaron Holiday at lower ownership and a similar salary. And now for our next corner, here are some of the current top value plays on this NBA DFS slate, starting with Czech Diallo in that game versus Portland, where there's 114 implied points for Phoenix. Diallo is comparably cheap to Aaron Baines and could end up splitting 48 minutes with them with a chance to earn more of that share if Hassan Whiteside over Powers Baines or draws him into foul trouble. Our next top value play looks like James Ennis in that game at Minnesota, where there's 117.8 implied points for Orlando. Ennis is far from a high usage guy, but there'll be more to go around with Evan Fournier out and a great spot for all stats against Minnesota, with Ennis at a very strong price on FanDuel in particular. And our last of the current top values looks like Dwayne Dedman in a game at Washington, where there's 122.8 implied points for Atlanta. Dedman will be back in the lineup in a spot where he could have some upside against Washington's high pace, with very cheap prices for Dedman industry wide. Now for our next corner, let's talk about some of my other current core plays, starting with Dario Saric in a game versus Portland, where there's 114 implied points for Phoenix. Saric sees solid jumps in usage and rebounds with DeAndre Ayton and Kel Ubre out, in a very strong spot to capitalize on that potential against Portland's 110.7 defensive rating. Another core play whose status is currently up in the air is Trey Young in that game at Washington, where there's 122.8 implied points for Atlanta. Trey is currently questionable with an illness, but he's seen a 77.5 fantasy point high and 35.5 fantasy point low against Washington this year, as he looks like a great play if he's in and a sleep changing play for all the other Hawks if he's out. And my last of the current core plays looks like DeMontis Sabonis in a game at Chicago. There's 107 implied points for Indiana. Sabonis is in a good matchup against Chicago's weak interior, but it gets even better with Malcolm Brogdon likely out. A situation that ups Sabonis' usage, rebounds, and assists at a very reasonable price point. And now for our last corner, here are some lower owned dart throws that I'm looking at, starting with John Collins in that game at Washington, where there's 122.8 implied points for Atlanta. Collins is fine if Trey is in, though he does see a slight decrease in opportunity with more center minutes for Dwayne Dedman, but he would be a great play if Trey is out with even more usage to go around. Another lower owned dart throw for me looks like Markel Fultz in that game at Minnesota where there's 117.8 implied points for Orlando. Fultz has seen a jump to 27% usage in a limited sample size of Aaron Gordon and Nikola Vucevic on the court with Evan Fournier off. And guys like him, Gordon, and Terrence Ross are all much stronger plays thanks to Fournier's absence. And my last lower owned dart throw is a guy I hinted at earlier with Aaron Holiday in a game at Chicago where there's 107 implied points for Indiana. Holiday has historically seen the biggest boost in opportunity for his assist rate in particular with Malcolm Brogdon's sideline. He lurks as a pivot to a much chalkier TJ McConnell at much less ownership. So that's what I'm seeing so far for today's NBA DFS slate. So right now, please hit that like button. If you want your chance to win a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your overall top value according to DraftKings salaries down below. Tonight, the Superdraft slate locks at 7.30. So we will have our Superdraft show coming up after the usual slate lock at 7 p.m. Eastern. So go sign up right now at Superdraft.io and use the promo code Osmo. If you do that on there, you can get yourself $20 free with a deposit of over $100. So do that right now at Superdraft because they've had a lot of overlaid their tournaments recently. And on that Superdraft show later tonight, we're basically just giving you lineups. All of Osmo's top plays will be available to you. So check it out right now at Superdraft.io or download Superdraft from the App Store. Use that promo code Osmo when you sign up to get $20 free. And if you want some more data to weed through this big slate, use this promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first week of any weekly Osmo Plus package. Go check them all out right now at Osmo.com slash join and use that promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first week.
week. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Matt Chris Spaggs. If you were following me on Twitter yesterday, you would have seen me being challenged to a boxing match by my old employers at Barstool Sports. My life is so interesting. You should be following me right now for all the stupid things that occur in it on Twitter and Instagram, at Chris Spaggs. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later tonight with a mustachioed chubster Josh Engelman, so tune in then to see what an asshole he looks like. And of course, I'll be back with you guys on Monday for another Four Corners. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great weekend and a great night, and I'll see you guys again soon. Good luck.